Bruh, I'm telling you, Kate Upton is fucking sexier than Scarlett Johansson. She has Scarlett good breasts Johansson and everything. Is just beautiful. What does Scarlett Johansson have to offer to the world? Like, I mean, everything, bro. She, she was Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. Come on, now. I mean, like, I don't know. Scarlett Johansson is just way better than Kate Upton, bro. Like, all Kate Upton has. Wait, hold up. What's that? Hey. Go pick it up. No, you gotta check it out. Why do I gotta check it out? Well, I'm not gonna check it out. Fuck it, I'll check it out. Whoa, what is this? It looks like some box. Whoa! Oh shit. You like that? Whoa! Hey guys, Tavio, DTV. Uh, we are gonna set up the, a debate between the two smartest dudes at our school. Giggity. We'll have one of them here with me today, Eddie. Uh, come on in. All right. <laughs> So, uh, your opponent is, uh, Donovan. Do you think that you can, uh, outthink him, Jose? I don't know shit about Do Donovan, <laughs> honestly. Never heard of this guy. Oh. Never. Um, know a few other guys here. Uh -huh. Not as smart. What do you think your strengths are as far as po uh, politics are concerned? Politics? Yeah, um, that's what your debate's gonna be about. I feel like I have a, uh, comprehensive understanding of the majority of politics. Um, I can explain just about any sort of viewpoint in politics and make it seem rational, even if it is the most backward shit in the book. <laughs> Alright, um, what side are you on the political spectrum? I am far, far liberal, which is like the most democratic of the Democratic Party. Alright, nice, nice. Alright, well guys, uh, you mean Eddie, left. Eddie, yes. uh... Our, uh, one of the candidates for our debate match. Uh, you got to be seeing Darian and Donovan in the next episode. Are you good at math? Uh, Ed, uh, look forward to the debate. Oh, don't go no. into that because I'm still pissed off about they put me back in Algebra 2 when I'm supposed to be in Calculus C. So, that's it. They can't even teach me this. I know it all already. Wait, what are you talking about? No, I'm actually supposed to be in Calculus C this year. I, I wasn't saying anything bad. I said, how's your math? Yeah, I'm... I, I don't want to bring that up because I get pissed off about it. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Uh, we'll try not to tell Donovan about that thing. DTV. <laughs> yeah, just been tuned. Uh, hey, Darian here for, uh, from DTV. Uh, I have the smartest guy in Skyline right here. Um, he thinks he can take on this other guy who claims he's the smartest. So, uh, Donovan, what do you have to bring to the table? Well, I am fairly intelligent in the areas such as polit of political matters and historical matters. Like what? Like Ponce de Leon? And... Well, I, well, most of my history is military, and most of it would be in the 20th, in the, from the 17th, 18th, and 19th, and to the 20th century, in that, in that area. Things beyond that are more, things before all of that is more sketchy to me. Wait, so, like, so you're saying, like, before the Middle Ages? Well, not really before, like, that time around the Middle Ages is more of a black hole to me. I mean, I can give you some fact about that time period and some areas beyond, but mostly my information comes from early Industrial Revolution to the modern, to the modern 21st century in that area. Okay, so on that subject, you pretty much think you have uh, your opponent, like, poem. I wouldn't say that, depending on where their historical knowledge lies, but in political matters, perhaps. Well, we'll find out on this brand new episode of DTD, first episode of uh, Season 4, uh, and let's get this shit started. We let's go, um, two yeah, smart guys at Skyline about economics. Uh, I'm going to ask okay. them the Thank hardest you. questions ever to find out who's smarter, and oh. these two guys go head to head. Okay, let's go. Um, first question. Uh, who first introduced the concept of Now the of rules multiplayer? are when it comes to me giving away my materials. What? Multiplayer. I'm happy to give you materials, but yes. next time who I'm first introduced the concept of multiplayer? I want to know what you did with well, this before. We have to define, further so define multiplayer because okay. competitive okay. multiplayer goes we'll be, back I don't even care to how you use like the original Japanese like game of set. Like an invest and like an investment multiplayer. <laughs> oh, well, economics. <laughs> Yeah. Multiplayer. Like so what? Yeah. You speak. What kind of concept? The most like video game multiplayer. <laughs> no, like economics. Like like how much like you like for your fun like that. Okay, you're asking an economic question. Multiplayer. That means yeah. an entirely different concept. 
Oh, oh, okay, but do you Asking understand the question? Right? Are you not no, the I question? don't. We don't <laughs> understand the question <laughs> because oh, you're oh, using. Oh, okay, so you're you're saying it's different. This is how I store. That's what you're saying. Is, how I yeah, store because you're not the multiplayer and the economics is not connected. Oh, 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 I feed it through, okay. so well, unless I I. Um, <laughs> for, Ford magazine, try that. Okay, wait. Why, why don't you just that? ask well, us our okay. opinion on something? Okay, what what is your opinion on like the current state of America's economy? It's garbage, currently. <laughs> okay, define garbage. Don't it's hold back. Tell me how you really feel, Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> commentary not necessary. Okay, the current state of America is kind of... It's a wreck right now. It's a wreck because, A, everything, the private sector are teaming up with the government to get special privileges, and, B, the government is, spent, is spending like crazy and doesn't know what to do to stop it while trying to keep their political image by spending a lot. It's 12 hours. So, Do you I would... Or? Uh, that, that sounds pretty dead on. Um, God, why does my brain not work when I want it to? Um, I don't know. Yeah, never mind. Um, uh, why would I know? All right, anyway, <laughs> okay, well, uh, okay, what else? Wait, so you just no. don't agree with him, like, all the way? Okay. Well... Yeah, you still thinking? Yeah. You see? Oh. Yeah, so you disagree with him? Like, no, I, I don't disagree. That seems pretty much dead okay, on. Okay, um, what are your views on, um, okay, California laws, like, you know, how they, um, uh, okay, Which like, gay, gay marriage, gay marriage. Like, you know how they're, the they keep, eight? yeah, they keep trying to pass it, like, they, it, it keeps getting denied, but they keep trying. Like, no, Prop like, 8 has, that, that is already. <laughs> yeah, as opposed to. More of an encyclopedia. I know how you feel. It seems like we relatively agree in, in, in the political sphere. Well, okay. Cases. Shock and surprise. So, um... Great minds think alike. Okay, so you're talking about that thing. Like what, okay, okay, so what are what other things besides... I don't know who... So, like, I heard, like, oh. differently about your political views, so I was misinformed exactly, like, what you do, so I thought it would be a lot different. Oh, you thought... You, you thought that Miss Rob, when she said that I was more right-wing, you thought I was... Like totally right wing. Like I was. No, I, I didn't. I didn't mean like like that far. Like you wouldn't like lynch people and like all that. <laughs> like that. I just mean like like I don't know. Like you would disagree with them. That's what I thought. Mm, well, if we well not in social matters and not in social matters because he wants everyone to have full civil uh, full individual individual liberties. You don't believe me? No, I do. Oh. When we agree on everyone should have their full individual liberty. Wait, you said he that he He agree dis he agrees with me. Okay, well you said we would that's the only thing we would disagree with. No, he said on when he was talking about the economy that he was left. Now I was thinking that he meant oh he wanted like full government intervention into the economy, but he's been saying that's not the case. Is that am I correct? Yeah. Right, I mean, so, but when you say you're left on the economy, it brings up certain images. So I wanted to hear what your thoughts on what the government and the economy, like how they should be interacting. Well, that was kind of rude for uh, the host to do. Uh, okay. What? He, uh, he was like, okay, okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Uh, like right, I was right. doing all that time. <laughs> that was rude. Uh, okay, rude right. much. Okay, I, I apologize for that. Um, so so do, you, do you think Obama's doing a good job? No. Do you think Obama's doing a good job? I, I'd say considering the amount of work he has got, he has to had... Seriously, Just why does this keep happening? Like, fix up after what the last yeah, president did? Yeah, after did George Bush, the amount yeah. of work uh, Obama had laid out for him was ridiculous. So considering that, he is doing a better job than most people would. I honestly think he would... Mitt Romney would have been doing a lot worse by now. Do you agree with I you? believe Mitt Romney would have also done a bad job. Yeah. The problem with the Bush administration, in my opinion, is that he continued the continual process of building up the government, you know, with the new Department of Homeland Security and all those new duties, and then putting our military overseas to fight in Iraq and Afghanistan. What do you... That's overseas. Yes. What do, so what do you think was the problem with Bush's administration? I don't know. 
I, I honestly don't know because at the time I was pretty much too young to understand anything that was actually going on. But you and like since then I haven't really like thought about it. Because but there's that lag time between the time something becomes history and well oh, actually I had that backwards. The time I something think, happens I, and the time it becomes history I think and people becomes start to history, view it as like such. right after like nine eleven that was history right there if you want to use that example. Like I think history is like if history could happen in seconds like. Boom, like. Well, yes, but yes, he's but what, what he's saying is about the public's perception of what is an event okay. that is now and what is history. Is that right? Yes, but an actual event like nine eleven is a spike in history timeline. People will notice those e specific events because they happen like that quickly, and they'll notice it quickly after. Eras like the George Bush administration, eight years of constant. I'm not going to say things on uh, in this video. Wow. Um, well, constant shit. Um, oh, he can bleep stuff out. Oh. Okay. So it will be constant. Constant shit. <laughs> I see you. Ask um, bar, cunt. People won't notice he, that because okay. it's... Uh, okay, well... He you can sound like you have Tourette's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you that that doesn't become history immediately after it happened because it's sort of an ongoing thing. And so that has to pass by a another period of time before people can start viewing it in, a, in the in, as the perspective of something that had happened in the past yes the, it's like I can I'm like in the same boat since I was also young and when I was younger I was a fervent supporter of Bush you can see how far I've changed since then so most of my knowledge of the Bush administration is like second hand and not first hand and I was a bit young in the political stage, but yeah, so it's tough for me to actually judge Bush except from second hand accounts. This administration I can still judge. And since I didn't get to vote last year, yeah, I can still complain about him. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I it's just asleep. um wait, you I, I just oh, wait, you said complain about who, right? Like, like what I was saying, because there was a there's a quote out there saying if you don't vote, you can't complain. And I heard that. I like I asked I asked one of my teachers, Miss Rob, saying, "Wait, so since I didn't vote, that means I can't complain?" But she said I could complain since I didn't have since I was still a minor. But since um the election day when I did turn eighteen after the election, and since I did and since I couldn't vote at the time since it'd be illegal, that means I can still complain about President Obama. So you're saying as long as you're politically aware you can complain? Well, as long as you vote. As long you as you're fulfilling your uh, uh, responsibilities as a voting citizen. But he's you're saying like as a minor's perspective, like yeah, yeah but a minor can vote. complain because they are forced to live under a system they have no hand in creating. That is the very definition of being allowed to complain right. just because you you had no voice at all. So the only voice you have is to talk. Exactly. And I didn't have that voting voice in 2012, despite the, you know. The world that was going to end anyway. No, it was, the, it was the fact that my birth, my 18th birthday was right after the election. <laughs> what? When is your 18th birthday? It was November 7th. Oh, Damn. So he literally missed the election by one. I know someone whose birthday was on there. Very nice. Oh, so you used the rubber band. Okay, so that would be sad. Um, it was sad. Clever. Um, so what? Are, so anything else? I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, this was DTV first episode of season four. Name. Oh, name Donovan. Edward. Some of the brightest guys in the school and. Apparently better than the host. Yeah, a bunch of knocks. What I'm Darren, and that was DTV. Oh, Tavia gives you his best.